In this example, we have a system of two simultaneous equations with two unknowns, x and y. The first equation is 2x plus 3y equals 1, and the second equation is x equals y minus 7. When one of the equations is written in this form, x equals something or y equals something, the easiest method to, do, to use is the method of substitution. So the first step is substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So we have 2 and we open brackets because instead of x, we are going to write the expression for x. And the expression for x is y minus 7. And now we continue to write the equation the way it is. So we have plus 3y equals 1. Now for this example, what we have to do is expand the brackets using the distributive law. So we have 2y take away 14 plus 3y equals 1. So now all we have is just one equation in y, so let's solve it for y. 2y plus 3y equals 5y. Take away 14. Let's bring the 1 from the right-hand side of the equation to the left-hand side of the equation, so that becomes negative 1 equals 0. So we have 5y take away 15 equals 0. We are going to move the negative 15 from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, and this becomes 5y equals 15. We divide the equation by 5, and we end up with y equals 3. Now, we have to determine the value of x. We have the value of y, so we need to solve for x. So we are going to use the second equation. It's just easier. We can use either the first equation or the second equation, but x is already written as x equals y minus 7, so it's easier to use it in this equation. So 3 minus 7, x equals negative 4. When we have uh, simultaneous equations, we have to write the solution as x equals minus 4 and y equals 3, because this is the actual solution of this system of equations.